Richard Tice and Reform UK are stepping up their game once again as they make a big announcement regarding the upcoming elections. Okay, let's talk about the upcoming local elections and of course the general elections. Reform UK and Richard Tice are continuing to go up in the opinion polls. It's fascinating because because of their popularity among some people. I get so many different comments on this channel. People saying you need to join Reform UK, you need to run as a candidate. Some say no, no, Reform UK is not good. Uh, especially the way Richard Tice um, uh, reacted to the Andrew Bridge and stuff. But this channel, I'm, I'm going to remain independent. I'm not going to back any party. I'm not going to be joining any parties. And it's a lot easier to be objective in that sense. If any party, any politician says the right things or does the right thing, I support it, I praise it. If they say or do the wrong thing, I always criticize them, regardless of being Tory or Labour or Reform or that weird party that used to be Liberal Democrats. Anyway, the big announcement is the fact that a lot of people have been advising, saying... If Reform UK or any alternative parties, third party, want to be taken seriously or want to have a chance long term to be a proper competition at, uh, when it comes to the other main two parties, they need to start from scratch. They need to focus on local elections and you go from there. And Reform UK have finally decided to make an announcement and focus on the upcoming local elections in May, which is basically only two months away. And we will be covering that uh, live on this channel across of course um, the, the various um, towns and counties the the area that we have to actually focus on is the fact that reform uk whilst at, at, on the one hand uh, didn't manage to get all the other niche smaller party supporters especially those who uh, decided to take andrew bridge side uh, and ukip side um but of course they are still getting a lot of support from the mainstream um more mainstream people from like the Labour Party or uh, Tory Party or other parties who are defecting to reform. But they have to be careful not to come across as Tory 2.0. At the same time, they have to come across as professional rather than just a rogue party. This is the video that Richard Tyson and Reform UK have produced to give us the details of what they're up to. Hello and welcome. So poll after poll across the whole of the UK is showing just how Reform UK is having a real impact on voters' thinking and the possible outcomes for the next general election. We've just hit 10% in the crucial red wall areas, totaling some 40 seats where the Tories will probably lose all of their MPs. And in Wales, Reform UK has just hit 8%. Clearly, this is a big Labour stronghold, but the Good Tories point. vote is collapsing, now just around 19%, a mere 11% above Reform UK. And nationally, Reform is now on about 9%, and we're aiming to hit 10% very soon. We'll be standing many hundreds of candidates in this May's local elections, and then a full slate across the whole of England, Scotland and Wales at the next election, 630 candidates. We've already got some 500 people committed to constituencies. So as you can see, Reform UK is really well placed to offer a bold alternative. Right. With radical solutions to get higher wages, zero waiting lists, cheaper energy, and crucially, to stop the boats. So take a look at our website. If you like what you read and see, then join us, help us, stand for us, because it's time for reform. Well, it's definitely a very, very impressive video. It's very well produced and edited. Um, it's, it's, it is good to see any smaller party trying to make more of an effort to get reaction. Of course, there are always those keyboard warriors and the they, the virtual political activists who are just emotional people. If if someone in a, in a party like the Tory party or Labour or Lib Dems or Reform or UKIP, one person or one leader would say something that they don't like. They're just going to have a meltdown saying, well, because of this, I'm going to join, I don't know, Taliban <laughs> or vice versa. The issue is that put aside the emotional people. For example, there were people who were supporters of Richard Tice and they said, 
well, Andrew Bridge and his supporters were mean about uh, Reform UK and Richard Tice, so we just hate Andrew Bridge. Or, on the other hand, people were saying, well, and Richard Tice said he doesn't want Andrew Bridge in his party, so we're going to treat Richard Tice as the enemy of the state. Like, everybody calm down. When we were 14 years old, we used to do that. We used to get emotional. But politics, it should not be about irrational emotions. You should just accept the full package. And you need to make consensus, uh, concessions if you're going to support any political party. Whether you're going to be back in Tories or Labour or UKIP or Reform, you, it, it's impossible to find a party or a set of politicians that would say exactly what you, uh, that you agree with. And you don't really want any group that would just say what you want. That's very unhealthy. That's an echo chamber. You need to be able to challenge them. You need to be able to disagree with them. And the point is, the Reform UK, despite everything else that people say, they are making a big, big effort, especially when it comes to demanding more TV time ahead of the local elections. Because at the same time, right now, it's all about the Tory party and the Labour party. And we need more competition. We need Reform UK and other parties to get more TV exposure. So this is not me supporting Reform UK. This is, this is me rightly praising all the improvements that they've done, all the efforts that is going well for Richard Tice and Reform UK. At the same time, not just for Reform, but other smaller parties, they, there has to be a demand to get more TV exposure. That's good for democracy, all of them. But again, it has to be about the, the, the top three, top four parties to get to the top to make sure that they get some sort of exposure. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Amaya TC and we are the media.